This is Army head football coach Jeff Monk, and we're on our uh, actually second leg of our trip to Afghanistan. Uh, my traveling mates, Major Andrew Marsh, who's got the camera right now, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Jeff Powell, Sergeant Major Delbert Myers, and our Superintendent General uh, Bob Castle. We're all traveling together to Afghanistan. We're, uh, we're getting ready to leave Dulles Airport here to go to Dubai for a 13 hour flight uh, before we uh, cross the borders into Afghanistan. We're excited about this trip. And uh, I'm particularly excited about this great opportunity to see West Point grads, Army soldiers, former Army football players, and, uh, and just be out there and, and experience uh, life in the Army for a week. So uh, we're gonna be bringing you a lot of uh, posts from, from our trip. And uh, we're looking forward to this first trip. Beat Navy. We just landed in Kabul. Uh, we've been on uh, on the road now 36 hours from the time we left the academy uh, to arrive here. Today. We're excited to be here, and uh, we got a big day planned right now. We're gonna we're gonna start. It's about seven o'clock in the morning here, uh, local time, and uh, we got a we got uh, a pickup plan, and then uh, we'll be off to, to meet a bunch of people here that uh, we've been uh, anxious to uh, to greet and see. A long time we've been traveling, so uh, this is what we came here for. Excited to be here and uh, for you more some travel. Be dated. All right, this is our first exposure to the weather here in Kabul. Actually, very pleasant, sunny. It's early in the morning, and uh, we're headed to our vehicle. We got uh, the whole crew here, everybody, the whole traveling party, and uh, excited to get going. Here's our limousines. Take us out to uh, the bases. It's getting ready to load up. We're out here at the airport. Stand. We've each got a kind of a room or apartment in this uh, in this building right here. Actually, a really good setup. We've got a room and a bathroom, and uh, we're going to be taking these vehicles around the, the base. This is uh, this is a little bunker over here on this side. So if there's any incoming uh, and you're near one, you kind of duck into those to take cover. Other than that, you just hit the ground. So they gave me the briefing on that. It was it was about 20 seconds. All right, these are our uh, these were our digs for the first night. This is uh, the Distinguished Visitors Quarters DVQ. Um, not quite like the DVQ on uh, on campus at West Point, but uh, nonetheless, pretty nice for these parts of the of the world. We had uh, we got a little living room with a refrigerator and uh, desk with some cute computers that were set up ready to go for us, and uh, our bunk. And then a little bathroom for uh, for each side. There's actually uh, two sides to the uh, to the room. So we're getting ready. Uh, it's about 7 a.m. We're getting ready to head out to breakfast, and uh, and then we're gonna take off and, and fly down to Kandahar. So this is the Chow Hall at uh, Bagram Air Airfield, and uh, it's been really good food. Uh, we're just getting ready to depart Bagram Airfield. Uh, we've been here a day. It's been a, a great visit. Uh, met some great guys and uh, just the unbelievable work they're doing. Uh, beautiful place. We're surrounded by mountains here and, and uh, this, uh, this, all these facilities that they built here. Uh, and uh, as we walked around, it's just amazing. Uh, they, they've taken such great care of us and it just feels like, kind of feels like we're on vacation. But. It's, it's very apparent that this is still a dangerous place and uh, just uh, amazed at the, at the courage and the professionalism of the men and women who serve here. What are the things that, that I can communicate to them? And because I can't speak with any sort of authority about what you actually do and the things that you experience. Um, what do I say to them when I say, okay, here's what your job's going to be. 
here, here's really what it entails. They, they, they get the fact that they're going to get to go to a great university. It's like Muscle Beach in uh, Santa Monica. Huh? It's like Muscle Beach in Santa Monica right here. We also have the Duke system up here for RCA, um, which is right up there. Um, but anyways, you go up in there. So that's the gun. Yeah. You want to hop up in there? There's, yeah, we, we threw a gun up there. Uh, This uh, White Shore is uh, not He's here right now. He's good job. He's We're going. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, he's lifting. Yeah, that's yeah. one of those guys I saw over there. You know, we got a bunch of people. I don't know the rules. Uh, I can see why, though. You got a safety on it, don't uh, you? And uh, we just finished a great day at uh, Kandahar Airfield. We. Uh, well, we just we had a busy day. We we had several meetings where we got to meet uh, a number of academy grads, uh, several different groups of academy grads, some some uh, young officers, all lieutenants, which was uh, really uh, rewarding to be able to talk to those those uh, men and women who have just graduated. Uh, many of them were, were former athletes and kind of hear about the things they were doing, and then uh, got to take a helicopter ride, doors wide open, which was uh, like a roller coaster for me. I'd never. Uh, Never uh, actually had any kind of uh, a, uh, an experience like that. We got to ride in a helicopter yesterday. It was the very first time I'd ever done that. But today, with the doors open, got to see the city of Kandahar, go out to one of the forward operating bases, uh, land, meet some of the folks there, and uh, just a great day. The highlight uh, uh, certainly had to be tonight to, uh, to meet uh, all the people here at Kandahar. And uh, we had a meet and greet. We had several people come over there, Army fans, and gave out T-shirts and hats. And, had dinner with all the former football players who are stationed here at Kandahar Airfield. And uh, well, I just had a great time talking to those guys and talking Army football. We're just leaving the Kandahar Airfield. We've been here a day and uh, leaving the fourth ID. It's fantastic. We've got a ride on this uh, C-130 here back up to Kabul. And uh, looking forward to that experience. We've had a great day here just meeting all these soldiers and all the great work they're doing down here. And uh, it's just been a great uh Great day and a half, and uh, met with some, some uh, former West Point football players last night. Met some West Point captains today, and uh, it's just what a great experience they're having. So, representing our academy well, we decided to move on on our trip. Beat Navy. Uh, we're in the airport getting ready to leave. Our, we're on our final day of our trip uh, here in Kabul, and uh, we've had a great trip. Just a lot to see, and uh, really, uh, the, for me, the, the trip of a lifetime. Something that I, I never would had a chance to experience uh, had I not been the, the Army head football coach. Uh, and to be able to do this with our superintendent, this, this, this great crew of guys that we came with, uh, just an unbelievable experience. We've learned a lot, we got to meet a lot of people, experienced a uh, new culture, and, uh, and we're excited to, to finish up this trip and get back to see our families. But uh, we're here and, and uh, waiting on our flight, we fly to uh, Delhi, India, and then from there on to London.